This video will give you a college-level multiple-choice probability question that uses the word given. The word given tells us that it's a question on conditional probability. I copied the actual question into the description below. I hope this makes studying for your next stats test as easy as possible. A new chemotherapy drug was tested in a randomized controlled trial, RCT, on 822 cancer patients. Of the 344 patients randomly assigned to receive this new drug, 101 survived for at least five years. Of the 478 patients randomly assigned to the placebo, 299 survived for at least five years. Determine the conditional probability of randomly selecting a study participant who survived for at least five years given drug assignment. Step one is determine the variables. So here, the variables, we have a new drug and we have a placebo. Drug placebo tells us that our variables are treatment. Drug placebo. Now, the other variable we have is five year survival. Five year survival. So we have treatment and we have five year survival. And we have yes. No. So these are our two variables. Once we have our two variables, step two is to create what's called a table show. Drug. Placebo. we're going to have a yes, we're going to have a no, we're going to have five years survival, we're going to have a total, and we're going to have a total. And we're going to have a treatment. Now, this is called a table shell because it doesn't have the numbers in it yet. So, step three is fill in the shell. So now what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to read this problem and show you how you fill in the shell. So a new chemotherapy drug was tested in an RCT on 822 cancer patients. That goes here. And this is called the grand total. All right. Of the 344 patients randomly assigned to receive the new drug, so that's the total number of patients. We put that here, 344. 101 survived for at least five years. Of the 478 patients randomly assigned to the placebo, so we write 478, 
299 survived for at least five years. Now, we're going to just use simple subtraction and fill out the rest of this table. So now we have 344 minus 101. Let's see what we get. 344 minus, what was it? 101. 243. And now let's take 478 minus 299. And we get 179. And now let's take 101 plus 299. And now let's take 243 plus 179, and we get 422. Now that we have in a filled in table shell, step three, is our definitions. So what we're going to do is we're going to say let y be the event of five year survival And let's let D be the event of being assigned to the drug arm of the study. And step four, is write this out in probability notation. So what we want is the conditional probability of randomly selecting a study participant who survived. That's yes. Given, now remember the vertical bar means given. And it says, given drug assignment, so given D. All right. Now, when we say given drug assignment, that means we are assuming, the word given can be translated as the word assuming. That means we know that the study participant was assigned to the drug arm of the study. So that makes the denominator 344. And the numerator is 101. And if you look at this, the answer is choice A.